Hi everyone, in this video we will be crocheting this gingerbread pillow. For the materials you'll need worsted weight acrylic yarn in brown, white, and red, a 14 inch by 14 inch pillow form which I linked down below, a 6.0 millimeter crochet hook, tapestry needle, and scissors. To begin, we are going to use our brown yarn and chain 44 chains. And I am using my 6.0 millimeter hook. Once you have your 44 chains, go ahead and double crochet into the third chain from the hook. In the next chain, a single crochet. And we are going to follow that pattern all the way across the chain. So a double crochet. And then in the next, a single crochet. Next chain, a double crochet. And then in the next chain, a single crochet. So go ahead and repeat that pattern of alternating double crochets and single crochets all the way down your chain. In the very last chain, you should end with a single crochet. Here I am at the end of the row, and I did end with a single crochet. So to start the next row, we're going to chain two, turn our work, and we are just going to follow the same pattern as the first row. So we're going to start with a double crochet right in that very first space. And then in the next stitch, we will do a single crochet. Next stitch, a double crochet. Next stitch, a single crochet. And we're just going to alternate all the way down the row. So we will be double crocheting into the single crochets from the previous row and then single crocheting into the double crochets in the previous row. And then once you get to the end, again, you will end with a single crochet. And then you will just continue to repeat this row until you have a total of 34 rows or once your panel measures about 14 inches um, in height. So this width should also be about 14 inches since our pillow forms that we're using are 14 inch by 14 inches. Once you have your panel finished, it should look something like this and you will want to make two of them. Next, we are going to work on the embellishments. So for these icing squiggles, all you need to do is chain 65 with white yarn and then I actually um, glued these on, but you can sew them on. I used hot glue, but you can also use um, like the fabric glue to put them on. So you need two chains of 65 for the squiggle icing on the top and bottom. And then next I'm gonna show you how to do the button. For the buttons, I'm using red yarn and my 6.0 millimeter crochet hook. So we're gonna start with a magic ring, chain up one, and then I'm going to make 10 single crochets into the ring. Once you have 10 single crochets, go ahead and pull your tail end tight so the circle closes up and then join to the very first single crochet that you made. Next, we're gonna chain one, and then we are going to do two single crochets in each stitch around. So for the first round, we have 10 single crochets, and then for the second round, we should have 20 single crochets. So go ahead and make two single crochets in each stitch around. Once you get to the beginning, go ahead and join to that first single crochet. And then we're going to fasten off and leave a long tail if you're going to sew them onto the pillow. So 
So go ahead and make two of these buttons. So with your two buttons, you're just gonna arrange them in the middle um, and then in between the icing squiggles. Like I said, you can glue them on. You could also sew them on. Sewing them on is probably the most secure way. So now that we have the front panel done, um, I left my back panel blank. If you wanted to add squigglies to the back, you can do that as well. Now we are going to join the panels together. I'm going to use white to join the panels together just so it looks like the icing around the edging. So I'm going to start joining on this bottom right edge and go up and around just so once I'm done, the end will be on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and arrange this so it's easy for me to put together. So this is the bottom right corner and I'm just going to put my hook through both panels on the very corner. And again, I'm using white and we're just going to single crochet them together. And in every corner, I'm going to do three single crochets. So there I just did a chain one to secure it. And now I'm going to make three single crochets in this corner. And now I'll be working up this edge here. This is probably the trickiest part, working on the side versus uh, the top and bottom, because the top and bottom, you can see every stitch that you need to go into. Here on the side, you'll see these little bumps um, just from the stitch itself. So I make sure to line them up so they're all even. And then I'm just gonna start crocheting as evenly as possible using single crochets. So after every couple stitches, I'm gonna just go back and look to see how it's looking. If I'm not happy with anything easily, I can just take it out and try again because you don't want too many stitches and you don't want not enough stitches because then that will create some weird textures in your project. So here I have a little stretch done. And then also when you're crocheting your panels together, make sure um, the front panel is like facing you just because the back of the stitching won't be as pretty um, or as nice as the front. I don't know if you can really tell the difference there, but I think this side looks um, cleaner and nicer than the back. So go ahead and continue to just join um, your panels all the way around, remembering to do three single crochets in each corner. Um, just do three sides because we will need to add a pillow. So once we have three sides done, we can stick that pillow in before joining the rest of it. So here I am, I have three sides closed up and I am going to put my pillow form in here and then once it's in there um, I'm just going to continue to seam everything together join to my very first stitch and fasten off and weave in that end I hope this video was helpful I hope you learned something new today and if you enjoy crochet tutorials be sure to subscribe to my channel